We're going to use AI to make this t-shirt design. For our print-on-demand store, our AI software is called Midjourney to get customized and professional designs lightning quick. Oh wow. First, you'll have to join their Discord server. If you don't have or know what Discord is, it is a chat software and it is free to join. Now that we have Discord or have created one, we can join the Midjourney Discord server. In Discord, click Midjourney in the left panel. On their home page, you can see all the amazing guy generated artwork the community has created and even get some inspiration for your artwork. It does have an inexpensive subscription to use your designs commercially, but if you want to create 10, 20, 30 or more designs, that would cost way more with a professional graphic designer. Now let's dive into my journey and create our shirt design. We're going to start with the basics of prompting the bot to make our design. Now that we're in Discord, click on my journey in the left panel. Move to the right panel where you see me journey bot right click and press message to start your own private message with the me journey bot so you can create artwork. To create a piece of artwork, type forward slash imagine to the message box and type your prompt. But wait don't start typing yet. I have a formula to help you prompt the bot correctly. First type the figure or mask it that you want in the image and make sure to include t-shirt design after your figure description. Then describe the style of detail, which could be minimalist detail, to detailed shading and many more levels of detail through prompting. Finally include prompts of what you want the bot to exclude with to dashes before the words for example. If you want minimal details type dash dash minimal detail or dash dash no fine shading. That's enough basics let's make our t-shirt. In Discord, we're going to type forward slash, imagine a cyberpunk skull, cyberpunk facial features, shirt design, cyberpunk city in the background. Awesome, this is what we got. You can either write a new prompt if you don't like what you got. You can remix the same prompt if you want to see what the bot will recreate out of this same thing. If you like a certain picture you got but just want to make a slight variation to it, choose V1 through 4 and add your updated prompt to that image. But in our case we like one of the generations that we received, which is number 4 and we're going to click upscale, so that we can get a larger, finer, and more detailed image to use on our shirt. Now we'll right click, press open link and save images. But wait, we still need to get rid of the background, so we can put this on a t-shirt. No problem, we'll go to canva.com, where you can use a 30 day free trial and remove the background for free. Canva is a robust picture editor that will allow you many different edits from background removal to adding text and much much more. So now that we're in Canva, go to Design Spotlight, Photo Editor, and then upload your photo on the left panel. First we'll select our image and click Edit Photo. And then click on the background remover, here. Ok you can see our background is gone, but there are some portions removed that we didn't want removed. So we're going to click the background remover tool again to edit. And now we're going to click restore. To restore the unwanted removal. Perfect now we just need text for our design. So let's press the back button here. And we want our text on top of our image. So let's move the main image down so we have some room to work. Now you'll go over and press the text button in the left panel. You'll see that there are plenty of text templates to use for your images and you can even just look through different fonts to choose your own. But today, we're going to work with the text templates. Let's start with this one. A bold outline text we're going to keep with the AI theme design. Let's change the color to match the colors in the picture by choosing one of the pre-made color box selections. Now let's use another text template to use, as this will be a retro wave type of design with some humor. Now we'll take the text and adjust the level and the size. And because we don't want the font to fall in front of our character, we will right click and go to layers and then send it back until it falls behind our character. Perfect. Now all we have to do is export this correctly and we'll be in business. First we'll click share. Then make sure you export this as a PNG file with a transparent background and increase the scale up to two or more for a bigger better file size, for when you upload it to your shirt website. 
on my next video, I'll show where you can start a website and with what services for print on demand. If you don't already have a great print on demand service, and by the way, I have a mobile app for iOS and Android that allows you to connect your bank accounts to your credit card and automatically pay credit card charges as you make them so you can gain the cash rewards and you don't keep the debt. This allows you to use your credit card like a debit card so you're not racking up debt and on top of that paying interest on that debt every month. It will be available in April or May, but we will have an announcement for the launch on our social media, Instagram, TikTok, and of course here on YouTube, so subscribe to our channel to be notified for the launch of our app. Thank you and see you in the next video.